If someone like you or I talks about a proper human diet, a ketogenic diet, a carnivore diet, or intermittent fasting or longer fasting as a treatment, a therapeutic for fighting cancer or for fighting obesity or type 2 diabetes or fatty liver, it's very easy for experts in the field to label us as quacks as is often is the case and often happens on Twitter and other social media. But what I find very enlightening, ironic, and funny is that big pharmaceutical manufacturers are paying careful attention to the ketogenic and the intermittent fasting space. Indeed, they are investigating multiple drugs that work by mimicking fasting or a ketogenic diet. And uh, I'm going to tell you in this video about one such drug that's being investigated and the miraculous benefits this, this drug seems to have all by mimicking a ketogenic diet and or intermittent fasting. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with over 20 years of clinical experience and almost a decade of experience uh, eating a very, very low carbohydrate diet and practicing daily intermittent fasting. Let's talk about what Big Pharma is investigating so that basically they can get a patent on a pill that will have the power of a low carb diet and intermittent fasting. So researchers at the Washington University School of Medicine are investigating a substance, a chemical, a drug called pegylated arginine deaminidase. Uh, and they're currently investigating it for fighting cancer. Now this drug starves the cancer cells of sugars and, and has many of the effects of eating a ketogenic diet and many of the effects of intermittent fasting. So it's basically a fasting mimicking drug. Uh, as you may or may not know, there's an argument in the low carb and fasting community whether a ketogenic diet is a fasting mimicking diet or whether intermittent fasting is a keto mimicking way of not eating. And so, I think that no matter who wins that argument, we all win if you're eating a ketogenic diet and practicing intermittent fasting. But Big Pharma has very quickly jumped on the bandwagon, not in recommending a ketogenic diet because there's not billions of dollars to be made there, not in recommending intermittent fasting to you because you can't make a billion dollars just recommending a way of eating or recommending a pattern of not eating. The way you make billions of dollars is to get a patent on a pill or an injection or an infusion or a patch or a surgical procedure. And so they are investigating this substance uh, to fight cancer because it, it mimics a ketogenic diet and it mimics intermittent fasting, both of which cancer freaking hate, right? So I have to be very careful not to say that keto and intermittent fasting fight cancer, but uh, Big Pharma can come up with a pill that mimics keto and intermittent fasting, and eventually they'll be able to say that this drug fights cancer. Now, I know it feels like we're through the looking glass here with irony and weirdness, but uh, uh, ScienceDaily.com had an article uh, talking about this substance, and the investigators uh, who are investigating this drug, they have also found that it has other magical properties. So this article starts with investigational cancer drug that starves tumors of their energy supply, that's sugar, also shows evidence of improving whole body metabolism, leading to improved weight control, according to a new study in mice from researchers at Wash University School of Medicine in St. Louis. And so... <laughs> These investigators who were looking at this keto fasting mimicking drug are shocked that it also would help the, the mice lose weight and help them reverse hyperinsulinemia and help them reverse metabolic syndrome. I think they'll also find that it helps reverse fatty liver in the mice and it helps to reverse any inflammatory syndrome and any hyperinsulinemic syndrome in the mice and indeed in humans. Right now they're in the, the, the drug trials where it's just in animals. And once they've proven this pill or injection or infusion, however they tend to market it later, when they prove it's safe in animals, they'll start human trials. 
And I think they'll continue to find that this drug, which mimics a ketogenic diet, mimics intermittent fasting, it's going to have all kinds of magical, miraculous effects on insulin and, 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 and immune metabolism. That it's, it's just going to be magical. So although healthcare practitioners like me and Dr. Jason Fung and Dr. Eric Westman and many, many others, we know the power of a ketogenic diet to fight metabolic disease, to fight cancer, and to fight chronic inflammatory disorders. Uh, Big Pharma, in order to make claims that the FDA will actually support, they have to do all the experiments. But my message to you in this video, beyond the irony and just the, the, the hilarity that Big Pharma is basically trying to come up with a keto-mimicking, fasting-mimicking drug, is that you can benefit from all these things that a ketogenic diet, a carnivore diet, a very, very low carbohydrate diet, a very low carb banting diet. I don't care what you call it. You can even call it a proper human diet blended with routine intermittent fasting. It, it fights metabolic disease. It fights cancer. It fights chronic inappropriate inflammation. Big Pharma knows it, and once they get their FDA approval, you can either, you then you'll have a choice. You can either eat a ketogenic diet and, and daily intermittent fasting for free, or you can pay Big Pharma, I don't know, a thousand a month, five thousand a month, ten thousand a month, however much they can uh, charge without getting in trouble with the federal government, you can pay them for their pill, their injection, their infusion, or however they tend to market it later or you can just eat a proper human diet and practice intermittent fasting. So all the big experts on Twitter might think that healthcare practitioners who recommend the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting are kooks or quacks, whatever the latest adjective is. But Big Pharma is secretly, they're taking notes on what we're saying and they're trying to develop a pill that will mimic the way of eating and the way of fasting that we espouse to you. So maybe you should ignore all the experts out there that say that the keto diet will give you keto crotch or ketoacidosis or keto butt crack. And maybe you should ignore all the gurus out there who say intermittent fasting will give you an eating disorder. Maybe you should try these this way of eating and this way of not eating and benefit from all of the amazing health benefits that you can get from it. I put links to both of these articles down in the show notes so you can check it out as always. And then, uh, I, as always, if you'd like direct access to me to ask me questions about your personal health, medical conditions, medications, uh, way of eating, way of not eating, become a patron on patreon.com. It's a super quick sign up and you have direct access to me in additional live Q and A's, three a week. And then also you can direct message me right there on the Patreon platform. This is Dr. Barry. See you next time.